So there's a couple tools that are useful when managing with accounts. And the context here is like you have maybe a temporary account for a contractor or something, or maybe it's actually a temporary employee or perhaps an employee when you know that maybe their last day is a certain day and you want to make sure that their account gets locked out when, or either you want to lock it out right now, or you want to lock it out on a certain date. So a couple tools for that. We're also going to talk about password tools because that's relevant. You could change a password or if a password's been compromised, enough talk, let's do some things. First, I have a user called test user. And I'm showing you Etsy shadow because they have a normal user account here, right? They've got a password hash set some usual identity information and whatnot. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to lock test user. The user mod is a tool that has a bunch of user modification flags that you can use. Dash L is to lock an account. We're just gonna say lock test user because, you know, test user, whatever, we wanna lock that account. Now, if we look back at Etsy Shadow, you're gonna see that at the beginning of the password hash, see before here we had the hash, Right, it just started with this quote. Afterward, you use the, afterward you'll see that it's got an exclamation point before the password hash. That means it's locked out. It means that yes, there's a password hash in there. We haven't lost the user's password, but now if they try to log in, their password's not gonna work, right? They may even get a, a, a note they've been locked out. But we still have the hash and there's a reason why it might matter that we still have the hash. That is if we wanna unlock the account. If we go back up and change the dash capital L to a dash capital U, this will unlock the user, right? Now, if we look at the shadow file again, we'll see that exclamation point is gone. And these quotes, I really think that my that Google Docs has bit me again here, Scott. Those quotes are not supposed to be there. Those were thrown in there by uh, a copy and paste fail from Google. <laughs> Nate, quick question. Transformations. Sure. Why would we lock the account instead of deleting the account? Well, this could be, you know, there's a temporary reason to lock this account. Or we want to make sure the person can't log in because, I don't know, maybe there's a legal hold on their account. Maybe they've been terminated, but we need to see their home directory. Maybe they're away on vacation. And our policies are that these accounts get locked out while they're on vacation. I've seen things like that in financial institutions, for example. That while people are away, they're actually spot checked for any, you know, malicious stuff, right? So maybe those are reasons you might want to do that. 